So, a couple of weeks ago, I live streamed a game called Just Shapes and Beats. It was a minor upload for a channel of my kind, or so I thought. It turns out the live stream and the video afterward ended up getting 210 views, the second largest on my channel yet. So I figured, why not just write the small amount of hype I have for this dying YouTube channel? So here we go, my top 10 favorite Just Shapes and Beats levels, or stages, or tracks, whatever you call them. So for number 10, we have Corrupted. Corrupted is the tutorial level of the game, and I think it does a fantastic job of introducing the player to the core mechanics of the game, as well as, you know, the general techno vibe and dubstep theme that this game will have. Some cool features of this map that are included is the really cool and innovative way of the birds flying through the pink spikes as a way to show how dashing works in the game. The fact that if you grab the triangle at a certain point, the song will actually slow the triangle down in order to line up with the beat of the song so you can stay on track. And the ending part where it's just a mishmash of objects flying on screen is actually pretty challenging on your first attempt, but it does a well good job of training you for what's to come in the game. As for the song itself, it kinda sounds a bit... corrupted. <laughs> okay, but seriously, it's not the best of Daniel Cannon and Zeph's work, but the song does a good job of establishing Just Shapes and Beats' unique, almost alien-like tone that sets it apart from other rhythm games. Number 9 is Cool Friends. So, fun fact about this map, uh, it actually got patched because of how difficult it was for its placement in the story mode. Like, people could not get past it without trying it like 10 times or like 20 times. It was ridiculous. But the current map now, I really enjoy the industrial vibe it gives, especially with the cool metal beat of the song. It makes it very surreal and sounds like you're working in a factory and trying to get through the level. Also the song Cool Friends Itself by Silverhound is just a vibe of a song. Like I can listen to this on my own all day and it will never get old. It is just the perfect combination of metal bass and small techno coordination. Overall I say this level is pretty solid and is cool to play with friends. Stupid. Number 8 is Close To Me. Now, I, the only reason I am putting it so low on this list is because it is kind of overhyped how good it is, but man is it not a sad point in the story. I mean, you have the triangle getting corrupted by the machinery, you have to go save him in this song, he literally reaches out for you to help only to get taken back into the corruption, it's just some heavy stuff. I was on the edge of my seat. As for the actual level, I feel like this is just the highlight of Just Shapes and Beats' brilliant game mechanics because it has such a simplistic art style but can portray so much visual flair and style that you can tell an entire story and it actually be quite compelling. I'll admit, the song itself is pretty good and tragic for this type of level, albeit a bit basic and repetitive, but overall, this level does an excellent job of being the sort of halfway point or middle of the halfway point of the end for all your characters and is the height of Just Shapes and Beats' boss design. Number 7 is Into the Zone. Now, I think this level holds the title for second hardest level in Just Shapes and Beats, uh, hardest being number 6. <clears throat> But onto the level, uh, I think that its visual design is the best out of any other level in Just Shapes and Beach, just because it manages to make you look like you're in a 3D space while still using the same 2D animation style with blue, black, and pink. Also the song is a perfect recreation of 70s synthwave vibe music, and you can definitely tell that Into the Zone was heavily inspired from something like OutRun. So not too bad, its visual and audio design are pretty stellar, especially the ending. Number 6 is Fox by Shuriban. Uh, this is the one song that I think Big Giant Circles, the band, should have actually made because uh, it definitely fits that description. As being one of the hardest Just Shapes and Beats levels, it is full of giant circles. And they're really hard to dodge, but the reason why I like this level so much is just the intensity and build up you can feel in the song in this level. This song holds nothing back and makes sure that you're paying close attention to the screen because if you mess up once, you are most likely going to be dead. Especially since you only get 3 lives just like all the other levels. And no, dash spamming won't work in this one as the screen is way too small at some points where I think only the 
only the edge are not covered in complete pink. Also, the song is really fire. It deserves way more than 500,000 views on YouTube. Alright, number 5 is a real favorite, uh, Hype. Now, the song itself, Hype, is just really good. I mean, it's kinda hard to make bad music when your name is literally Tokyo Machine, but the level itself just feels like it's so alive, and it seems like the game is playing you instead of you playing the game because of how much they throw at you in a cheerful and playing atmosphere. Like, it plays with the beat of the song, it plays with the lyrical, small lyrical moments of the song, and it also just fills the screen with energy and emotion. It's almost like it's the physical embodiment of what it's called, hype. Number 4 is Milky Ways. Now, this level, I feel, is perfectly synced to the song, which is made by Boss Fight, which by the way, Boss Fight's logo is very funny. But disregarding that, the level feels like you're dashing through space and actually traveling through the Milky Ways, which as the song implies, sounds very galactic and it's really, really catchy, especially in the beginning as all the dots appear on screen and then prepares for the bombast, which is actually really easy to dodge, but it disguises itself by having a lot on screen. And then it goes to the breakdown part of all the little sparkling effects and blaring stereo. It just sounds really surreal. And was definitely surprised as it's one of the beginning levels, which usually don't have that much flair into them. <laughs> I'm talking at you, Logic Gatekeeper. Number 3 is Barracuda. Now, this is actually like planned from the start as just one of my all time favorite songs in the world because this is actually how I met Just Shapes and Beats. I heard this song once and I'm like, wait, this is from what game? And then I saw Just Shapes and Beats and I saw the little triangle with the eye in it and I just instantly became in love. I'm like, what is this rhythm game? I want to play it now. The level itself is extremely easy and is considered the first boss fight of the game, which is funny because the actual first one is a little bit harder than this one, but I feel like it just, it sells Just Shapes and Beats concept. It is exactly what they want you to see in it. Crazy shapes fighting each other for dominance over the screen to a really, really cool song. Now for number 2, we have this masterpiece of New Game by Nitro Fun. Now the artist Nitro Fun makes some of the best tracks in the game and pretty much on the entire internet in my opinion. Like down far the best artist in this game period. New Game is just on a whole different level when it comes to atmosphere and just tone. First of all, this is a boss coming right after the first boss, which as pretty okay as it is, it really makes Just Shapes and Beats seem that much more better when you place this right after that. I mean, come on. You have the references to Mario, the references to Pac-Man, and the sound effects that work, by the way. The level slow motion effect as he's pounding whatever that is into the giant pink spear, and then the level which just has like crazy effects all over the place and it's really hard to dodge actually. And then you just have this song. This song. This song carries this level so hard. Like, if New Game wasn't the song in this level, there would literally nothing else would work. It had to be this song, as it sells Just Shapes and Beats weird arcadic gameplay style and it masters it. Like, there is literally no other level that comes close to its perfection. Well, at least not other than number one. Now, I know that was a bit pretentious, but before number one, we have some honorable mentions. First is Till It's Over, uh, excellent final, final, final boss to Just Shapes and Beats, and really makes you feel good when you can actually finally start attacking some of the enemies that have dealt so much damage to you. 
Second is Pegaboard Nerds, a really cool and awesome James Bond reference in a level, and it's also pretty short and sweet. I'm surprised it's one of the more final levels, as it's not that hard in difficulty unless you count the very end, and it's actually a pretty good tutorial level in of itself since it has all the basics of dashing in mind, and it portrays them in a really cool and compelling theatrical visual motif and I mean the spotlights, and Annihilate which is the edgiest song in the game and is actually really creepy for how it appears and the main villain is the most complex object in the game. And last but not least we have Final Boss by Nitro Fun. There is so much to say about this level. From the heartfelt goodbye your friends give to you as you approach this level, to the amazing beginning of the level, which is the most perfect example of bass hyping I can find to date, and finally to the climax of the song, which I mean, just look at it for yourself, there's really not much I have to say. This song takes all Just Shapes and Beats primary mechanics and all its boss fight motifs and puts it into one amazing final conglomerate masterpiece of a level. I think as a joke, this actually should have been the final boss of the game since the humor leading up to it is also funny as it's appropriately called the final boss but sadly isn't the final boss of the game. The song Final Boss by Nitro Fun by the way is in my top 5 favorite songs of all time which he also made when he was 16. And I don't think I really need to explain why it's one of my favorite songs of all time, just listen to it yourself, I think you'll get a pretty good idea, but in case you do need the explanation for it, uh, it's the perfect dubstep song. Like, it has all of the core principles of a great dubstep song, and is, in my opinion, a perfect magnum opus to that genre of music. The ending, also, if you listen to the full song, has a series of beeps and highs and lows. <laughs> where the highs translate the binary code as ones and the lows translate the binary code as zero and if you put that together and have the time to do that which somebody did it spells out game over which is just brilliant best level by far in the game heck one of my favorite songs of all time and you know how could i not like it it says my name <laughs> 